Hi, my name is Karen Olivier. I'm an artist in residence at the University of Houston. And I'm here to work on this project called Inbound Houston, and it's a public art project that I'm doing here. And I'm really using billboards as the medium, and the project is really a project for commuters. It's yes, I want art people to be engaged with it, but for me, what's real, what really kind of stood out for me about Houston when I first moved down here was the intense driving culture here, and the billboards played such a big role in that. It was, I always felt as though when I was driving, it was about sky and the sky and billboard, these, these billboards kind of framing some information. So I kept thinking about commuters and you're driving on this freeway every day and I kept thinking, what can I do with billboards to make them expand what they can do? I mean, normally they function in a way where they're about um, commodity or commerce or advertising a service, but I kept thinking maybe billboards can into the art realm in some way. So the first thing I kept thinking about was, well, how could, what's a simple way of me shifting the billboard and shifting the landscape? And I kept thinking, what would happen if I put what's behind the billboard, what, what exists behind the billboard actually on the billboard? So in a way, on one level, I'm making the billboards invisible and disappear, but it's a part of our culture. Billboards are part of our culture. So on some level, I don't want to get rid of them per se, but I want to just take that frame and expand what its possibilities are. And I kept thinking about commuters on a freeway. You know, if you're on the freeway every week, every day, billboards, in a way you don't pay attention to billboard ads in a way, because you see them every day and it's repeated. So what happens if I insert something that's kind of not supposed to be there, but kind of inserting nature back where it should be? So I think that could be kind of an interesting thing where it's complete artifice and it's not real, but the idea of what happens, I'm hoping maybe I can allow people to have a pause. Like I know that when I'm driving I become so insular and I'm just thinking about things I have to do that day. So what happens if you kind of catch something in your periphery that seems right but it's completely off and maybe on one level just might make you kind of just wake up that moment and just kind of be present in the present. And, and also just think about how billboards mostly kind of function where they don't function, they don't really talk about the present moment, like your actual physical state. It's more about, oh, you see a sign for, I don't know, Target, say, or Walmart, and you think to yourself, oh, I need to go there, I need to buy that thing in the future, or you think, oh, I have to do that in the past, but it's never really about that present moment, so I'm hoping maybe these billboards are kind of kind of awaken you and just have to be something for that moment, but there's also this thing about the billboards where I'm trying to have this this illusion become real, and it's, it's not going to happen, I don't think, often, but maybe it could be interesting if maybe one day you're driving and you finally notice it, and maybe one day you actually have this surreal or uncanny moment happen where maybe the sky, the billboard of the sky will actually match up, the sky actually matches up that day. So it's almost like I'm giving, you know, commuters a, a gift or maybe a, a chance to, like, almost like a game of chance. So hopefully it could be kind of fun and interesting and actually maybe have people question maybe why would someone want to do this. <laughs>